Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Econobox Garage. In this episode, the goal is to get the distributor rebuilt and installed on the car. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. I've started taking the distributor apart. Um, I've removed the condenser. I removed the points set, which is down here. It just mounts over that peg right there. I've removed the tiny little clip that goes on the end of that shaft right there. Right in that little groove, right in that groove right there. Uh, so that'll, that will allow me to unscrew uh, this knob off the end. You can see this little spring here that would normally go over that post. So I'm going to take that out and then I'm going to start trying to get these uh, little screws out because I want to get this cleaned up. You can see them some surface rust here that uh, needs to be taken care of. So I have this nut threaded just about all the way off. Oops. And I'll pick that up. Now that that's come off can slide this mechanism out here. And there as I continue to work on a distributor, I uh, managed to get this uh, plate out. However, I do have a bit of a drawback. Drawback is I had the head of this screw shear off, so I have to get creative in getting that out. And it looks like everything inside is pretty rusty. So I'm gonna take everything apart that I can and uh, give it a good clean. Now to get the first part off, here there's a slotted screw, so I'll undo that, and I'll pop these springs off, uh, being careful not to lose them, and then the uh, the weights, but I'll, I'll, I'll get this piece off first. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is get this straight slotted screw undone. Just use a little screwdriver to pop these springs off. So I'm just going to make a note of the larger spring goes away from the slot and the smaller spring goes on the same side as that. So let's see if we can pop those off. I'm going to get some, spray the full thing down with some penetrant. And then come back to that. Oh, there we go. Just holding the... Uh, thing in the back there and that pulls that assembly off okay so these are the two weights uh, for the centrifugal advance and then they engage the pins in the bottom of this piece here so this other one pull that up that one goes on there I'm going to have to give this a good, a, a good clean as best I can. Um, not sure if I want to tackle pulling it all apart. But for the meantime, I can clean all of this part up and go from there.
do a couple of things, try and get this uh, screw out of here. I'll heat this up. That's making it worse. Anyway, I'm, I'll have to figure something out for that. A new distributor is not in the uh, in the budget, so I'll let that cool off a little bit. Now, another thing I need to look after is the advanced mechanism, and I just need to clean up all of this up in here. Get all that rust off. I'll clean the outside of it, and then that goes back in, so that just goes in, in here. Well, that looks way, looking way better than what I started with. I'll uh, just clean up around the bottom here. Now what I can do for a bit for this screw that's stuck in here is I'm going to just set it upside down for a while and put some penetrant in from the bottom of the hole and then we'll see if that does uh, has any effect on loosening it up or anything. Just let that sit for for however long and go from there. Well I've got a lot of the cleaning done up and I've been trying to get this uh, screw out and I have managed to start it moving by cutting a slot and using a screwdriver to turn it but in turning it it's broken off the little tab so what I'm going to try and do is file this area here flat and center punch it and then drill it out because it actually goes all the way through so I'm hoping what will happen is as I'm drilling down the drill catches and then just spins what's left of that screw out the bottom well I'm into my distributor dilemma here so the screw that strip was in this hole here I did manage to get a small hole drilled through the screw and then when I went to enlarge it with a larger drill bit, that bit broke. So I've, now I have a piece of drill bit stuck inside here. Now this is the distributor for the 1098. And it's got a 25D on it. And this is a distributor off the 948 that uh, was originally in the car. And it is a DM2. So the housings themselves are physically different on the exterior but as best I can tell inside this space here and that bottom plate is the same between the two units. Now the difference that I've been able to discover is that the vacuum advance bits are different so there are some numbers on the top there, 7, 13, 7, 13, 5. So that's off the 1098 version. And if I go to the other one, let's see if we can get that to focus. There's a 15 and a 12 and an 8. Now, I'm assuming those uh, refer to the calibration of the unit inside. Uh, another difference, this is the little shaft with the lobes on it that actuate the points. 
and there's a little t a tang or tab on it that's marked 17 degrees and over to the one for the 948 that one says 13 degrees so that controls the amount of centrifugal advance now it's hard to discern without a scale whether these uh, advance weights are different between the two units so I'm not too sure if those are different um, the plates where the points and condenser mount the top vert part of it is the same between the two units but the one for the original distributor has this tang on it here now these two pieces are separate so I could transfer this one onto this plate so anyway, my my theory at the moment is if I can get all the advanced mechanism from the 25D distributor physically into place into the housing for the DM2, I should end up with a usable distributor. There are a few other things I'll need to check, of course, whether or not the distance from the mounting face to the end of the shaft is the same. So I can measure that up. And then if that might get me going enough that I can spend some time trying to get that screw extracted there. So here I've taken here I've taken the two uh, mounting plates apart. Uh, this is the one that was originally in the 25D and this is the one that was in the DM2. Now you can see that the, these main parts are the same. Uh, this one has had a replacement wire on it and this one still has the original. And then the difference between the bottom part of that is the 25D version doesn't have this tab on it. But other than that they are dimensionally identical. So my theory is I can take this plate which is in much better shape and mount it on this one after I clean it up. I had thought about cutting this tab off and using it, uh, but these bases are not available, at least through Moss. This whole assembly is available uh, uh, to get new, so I might even go that route. Well, continuing with the experiment with the distributor, this is the DM2 distributor that was originally on the 948 and I'm going to start installing all the bits and pieces out of the other one out of the 25D. Now to start with I've got the offset on the drive there off to the right in the video. I'll just set that in device or the spot where the vacuum advance goes is on the left. The drive tab on the bottom of the distributor shaft is offset to this side and is going this way and then this is would be towards the back of the car so this points up when it's installed in the car so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the weights in the bottom first there let's do it that way so first I'm going to take the weights now these are all the weights and springs and shafts and everything that came out of the 25D I'm still going to try and get this screw out but in the meantime, I'm going to experiment and see if I can get this to work with this DM2 housing. So first thing to go in, set that aside, is the two little spring or two little uh, weights, and they just set in the bottom here. And I put a light coating of oil in here just for some lubrication. And then next up is going to be this shaft here. Now again, this is the one out of the 25D with the 17 degree advance limit on it. And then these two pins engage the two holes in the weights. So, so when you put this shaft in, the notch for the, the, the notch for the rotor faces towards the bottom of the distributor. Now 
the this shaft here turns independently so to a certain degree relative to the main shaft so what happens with the with these weights is as the motor spins around and it goes this way it will push against this tab here and rotate the shaft relative to the main shaft so the next thing i'm going to do is get the springs mounted on these stubs here so i went and checked on one of my earlier little videos and determined that this larger spring there's the two springs that came out of there the larger of the springs was on this set of pins here and then the smaller one was on those pegs there so let's get this small one on first so here I have all the hardware from inside the 25d distributor mounted in the DM2 so I've got the springs I've got the little shaft with the cam lobes on it and the weights and those, all of those came from the 25d distributor uh, tightened up the screw here I double check that the tab on the bottom of the distributor is towards the, what would be the front of the car the vacuum activator would be towards the back of the car pointing up and then this notch and the shaft is pointing downwards now that's all done I can put the mounting plate for the points and condenser in place now for demonstration purposes I'm just going to use the old one that's a combination of the bottom plate out of the 25D and the top plate from the EM2. And I'm just going to slip that into place. So this pin down in here will hook up to the, act the spring actuator on the vacuum advance valve. So I've taken all the weights and shafts and hardware from inside the 25D distributor and mounted it into the DM2. And everything seems to be working as it should. Um, I've got my new condenser in here. I have the points in, the rotor in, um, all the electrical connections, and the vacuum advance actuator. This is off the 25D distributor, and it functions as it should. Now all I have left to do on this is to set the gap on the points themselves. And to set the gap on the plugs, you put a screwdriver in here and you make sure the points are on the top of the lobe. And then by putting the screwdriver down into the slots there, you can move the points either in or out to increase or decrease the gap so I'll uh, check what that number has to be get my feeler gauges out and get that set now that I once I've got that done I can uh, throw this in the car and then continue with some other little some bits and pieces that have to go in now one thing here there's the mounting this little clamp or bracket here is what holds the distributor into the car uh, now you'll don't know if you can see it or not but there's a mark on the distributor housing itself right there and then there's another mark on the bracket uh, corresponding to it right about there so I'm going to use that as my base point to line this up uh, to get started and then we'll make any adjustments we have to from there well I just realized one thing and here's a little tip when you're putting your distributor in. Make sure the clip on the bottom side of the distributor is on top of the generator. Right now, I can't really get a shot of it, but <laughs> mine's in behind. So now I've got to pull the distributor back out, flip the clip forward, and put it back in again. Okay, well I have the distributor loosely in place. Um, I've left the, the two nuts, or the two bolts, that hold that uh, clamp in place just uh, finger tight and so now I am going to hook up or install the generator which mounts between here 
uh, this bracket here and this bracket here. But that generator install will have to wait till next time. So I'm hoping this experiment with switching the internals between the two different distributor bodies will be a success. But we won't find out for a couple more episodes now. I'd like to say thanks to everyone who's supported the channel, either by subscribing, leaving a comment, or even purchasing merchandise. Uh, you can see I'm wearing one of the shirts right now. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to share it with your friends. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget that little bell icon. Click on that, you'll get notified when the next video comes out. My name is Ian. This is the Econobox Garage. We'll see you next time.